This is the story of the Rush family from Reedsville, Wisconsin. And this family came from Regenwald, Niederhagen in Pomerania, and that was in Prussia, in 1852. That was about 40 miles uh, south of the Baltic Sea is where that was located in Pomerania. And in particular, uh, the long time that uh, people had to serve in the army, boys had to serve in the army until they were 31, over five years, there was religious oppression there and uh, the working class didn't have the clout in the vote that the landowners had. And so they left for America for a better life. And in this picture, Ludwig, his wife Wilhelmina there, he was 32 when they came over, she was 22. And a couple of the sons in the back there, Carl, he was five, and Albert, um, he, was, he was three. He is not pictured there, nor is Johann, who was one and a half at the time. Both of those um, children died when they were kids. In this picture that you see, in the front is August Rush, Gretchen Rush on the lap of Ludwig, then Wilhelmine, and then Albertine. Those are for certain. In the back, I don't know the order, but it's Carl, Ernest, Frederick, and Louis to the best that I could find. Uh, that's who those are in the back. And Ludwig Rush, who acquired property, came to the United States. Uh, he drove the first team of horses to be owned by anyone in the area from Ohio after he uh, disembarked and went through Buffalo and then through Ohio to come to Wisconsin. His home was used for church services conducted by ministers from Manitowoc. When more families arrived in the area, he offered them shelter until their own farm homes were completed. Um, from the reunion in, in 1953, was the 100 year reunion of the farm. It said Ludwig Rush married Wilhelmine Hayes, Wilhelmina Hayes, and they had 14 children, 12 boys and two girls. Five of the children died in infancy. Only surviving members of the family are the wives of the sons. Uh, a couple of the wives were actually at the reunion of the sons. And from the 1912 history of Manitowoc County, Lewis, or Ludwig Rush, as he, as he was better known, was very helpful to the early pioneers, and his aid and comfort will long be gratefully remembered. His homestead, now owned by his son August, adjoins the village to the east. Prospective farmers where their families would make their way laboriously along the trail, having started at sunrise from Manitowoc. At dusk, accompanied by the monotonous sound of the whippoorwill and the howling of wolves, they would reach the hospitable roof of Ludwig Rush, to whom they had been recommended. Here, after a good night's rest, under the guidance of the host, the newly purchased land was found and the construction of a log hut commenced. And he also owned the first sawmill in the area, later selling it to Joseph Dumas. And Wilhelmina was born June 28, 1826 in Niederhagen. She died December 26, 1908. She lived to be the age of 82. He only lived to be 60, Ludwig. He died in 1880. And of Wilhelmine, it is written from January 7, 1909, the Der Nord Western, a German uh, newspaper in Manitowoc County, said the elderly Mrs. Lewis Rush in Reedsville died last week. In the past, the lady always made certain that she notified us when she had observed another birthday. I guess they didn't get notification of that, and her funeral was la was Tuesday of last week, it said. And so that is the first family of the Rush family that lived in Wisconsin. They came over with the Michael Krieger family on the Brig Julie. Now let's go to the next generation. That is August and Pauline Rush. He is on the far right, she is on the far left. And in the middle are Helen and Laura, their daughters. In the back on the left is Frida. She's a daughter from August's first marriage and her mother died while giving birth to her. Next to her 
our great-grandfather Adolf Rush, then Otto, then Della. And that's who's in that picture. Uh, Pauline Rush died at age 76 at the farmhouse. Um, it said, was born in Germany in 1869 and accompanied her parents to this country when a child. In 1889, she married uh, Mr. Rush and they located on the uh, homestead farm in Reedsville, now operated by her son Adolf. Uh, Mr. Rush died several years ago. He died in the in 1824, I believe. I'll have more on that, I guess. Two daughters were uh, preceded Mrs. Rush in death. Sur sur um, survivors are two daughters and Adolf on the home farm and Otto and Brillian. And that was from the Manitowoc Herald Times, April 5th, 1946. And August, this, this picture was taken in approximately 1923. And it was just a couple years after that that August died. I believe 1924-25, right in there. Um, and all of these, there's more on all of these people if you were to dig into Ancestry.com and other online sites. So that is that family. Then we move to the Adolf Rush family. He's far on the right there. Adolf and Laura Rush. This was taken about 1935. In the front is Levita, Gwendolyn, and uh, Laura Rush. In the back, my grandfather Helmuth and Adolf. And from his obituary, he was only 56. And he died at Bella Memorial Hospital in Green Bay following a lingering Ill illness which was a brain injury that he had, and he suffered from for many years. Um, he was born in, in the Reedsville area, they called it Rockland then, in 1891, and in 1913 married Laura Ranke, shown here. Um, so that is that picture. That's my great-grandfather and his family. And from their wedding, we have this picture. And this was written about that marriage, marriage of Adolf Rush and Laura Ranke, Reedsville, um, Evangelical Zion Church. And Mrs. Schnell, Schneller, I believe, I don't know who Mrs. Schneller was, had decorated the home for the happy occasion with flowers and painting, making it a pleasant scene for the happy event. Before the tying of the nuptial knot, Reverend Schneller, okay, it was the Reverend's wife, um, read some Bible verses. The bride, a daughter of Mrs. and Mrs. Frank Ranke of Rockland, was attired in pink silk trimmed with lace and pearl trimmings and also wore a becoming wreath and veil. The groom wore a navy blue suit. He was assisted by Edward Ranke, a brother of the bride who acted as best man. Um, after the ceremony, the wedding guests partook of a wedding supper at the bride's home. The happy couple will reside on the groom's farm a short distance from this village where they will be at home to their friends. And that's what's written about her. And after he died, she married Reinhold Cook. And she was born 1897, died 1979. I remember her. We never really spoke, but I remember her in her later years. Uh, she would stay at my Aunt Gwenny's home. Uh, Gwenny was in the picture just before. Here is a four-generation photo. In the front, Pauline Rush. Then my aunt, Germaine Rush. 
and Ferdinand Fatah Ranke. That was Laura Ranke's father. In the back, Adolf Rush, then my grandfather Helmut Rush, and then Laura Ranke Rush. So you had um, several generations right there. One, two, three, four generation photos. And then we go to our last photo. And this is my grandfather and his family. Helmuth Rush, Evelyn Rush, and that's my dad, Wallace Bud Rush. Then in the back, my aunts, Jermaine and Susan. Evelyn uh, lived until 2017, age nine, 2015, age 97. Helmuth lived to age 90 and passed away in 2004. And it all started with a guy that came from the village in Pomerania. His name was Gottlieb Krieger. He looked at the area, wrote home how wonderful it was, and this is where they decided to go, Reedsville, Wisconsin. I lived on that farm the um, first five years of my life. Same one that Ludwig Rush settled back in the early 1850s. That's the story of the Rush family of Reedsville.